What's up YouTube, I hope you're doing well mate. Special video today where I'm finally present to you a project I started working on quite a while ago in collaboration with a YouTuber I really like. And for this occasion, we will not talk about photos but videos. I'm going to show you how to improve the quality of your productions using templates in Premiere Pro. I'm going to offer you one for free, yeah. I'm going to show you how to install these presets properly and not like everyone else does it where it's a mess. You never know where to find your stuff. And finally, for those who are a bit more advanced or have at least some basics in After Effects, I'll show you how you can create your own presets and customize them with a little easy expression. As usual, you can find the different chapters in the video player, so don't hesitate to go to the part that interests you. And before we jump into it, a little hello to you, you, that just discovered my channel via Matisse video. Welcome! I will talk about what I do on this channel later in the video. For now, let's go. So, the creator pack, what's the story? Last year, before 2020, we were young and innocent, remember? Matty wanted to rebrand his graphic identity and he chose a logo that I had created. Since I'm a motion designer too, we also work together on creating an intro. Motion design is something I use a lot in my videos. I love the graphic aspect of animation. With Matty, we always kept in touch because he gave me a lot of advice for my channel and we were looking for a way to do something together, which would have been the case if we had been able to travel this year. On my channel, I get a lot of requests about how I animate the little insert I put in my vlogs. On his side, if you know Matty's channel, you know that he has this mindset to help new creators, both in terms of filmmaking, but also to develop their YouTube channel. You see where it can... So we created together the creator pack, a preset pack for creators. Yes, there was a crazy brainstorm about the name. The goal was to create a pack, one, that could be aimed at the widest possible audience of creators, two, very graphic, three, and that's where I think we stand out the most from the other packs you can find on the web, the most customizable as possible. You've probably already seen Matty's video, you already know the content, we won't spend a lot of time on it. You have 12 presets divided into three categories, with animations including icons, title and text animations, and overlays. For example, the basic animation, the first one. So I'm going to scale it to 50% since everything is obviously available in 4K. If you have the latest version of Premiere, you don't have to go to the Essential Graphics Editing panel anymore. You can do it directly from the FX Control panel. It's a nice time saver, but I find that the presentation is not the best. First, you have global controls, but the advantage is that each element has its own controls. You'll be able to individually modify the position of the elements, change the icons, sometimes the animation, the color. Same for this one, for example, to simulate a viewfinder of a camera. Everything is customizable. Mm, I like this one, it's very motion designy. Of course, you can change each color, the animation speed. By the way, most presets have an output animation, but it's not yet possible to control it correctly between After and Premiere, so you just have to cut the duration you want and poof, done. In short, more details in Matty's video. But if you want to test how it works without having to buy the pack first, we've added a bonus preset, which you will have, of course, in the creator pack, but which I'm offering you here too, right now. To download it, it's simple. In the description of the video, you have a link to Gumroad. You click on it, it's based on a pay what you want. So just check that the price is zero and you just have to download it. I have other free templates to download on the channel, especially for Instagram. I will put links in the description. But you know, on this channel, I'm not just extremely generous. Okay. Okay, time to go into self-promotion mode. Here's a video about me, by me. Here in my garage, I just bought this uh, new Lamborghini here. But you know what I like a lot more than materialistic things? Knowledge. Photography knowledge. That's what you will find on my channel. I bring you with me on all my photo shoots and I give you knowledge. Cause like Warren Buffett said, the more you shoot, the more likes you get on Instagram. And we have a lot of fun because my jokes are funny. So subscribe to my channel to receive all my knowledge for free. With photography knowledge, you can buy a Lamborghini. Yes, I'm the sponsor of my own video. No, I have no shame. I've left in the description some links to videos that represent the spirit of the channel. Go watch two or three of them and don't subscribe just because you have a heart of gold. Do it only if it's something that you really want to watch. And then the notifications, Instagram, Twitter, the old halala. Yeah, French expression. The whole package, I guess. Once you get your file, you have several ways to install this. First of all, simply from Premiere by clicking on the little add icon here. The problem is that you can't import a folder directly. Because clearly we have an entire afternoon to spend just importing the presets one by one. Personally, I have nothing else to do, so that's cool. Monday, I have nothing to do. Thanks, Adobe. 
The solution that most YouTubers will offer you is to find the template file hidden in the obscure file deep into your computer and paste the preset file directly into it. Complicated, but it works, except that now, if you follow this method, they will appear in the middle of the presets already pre-installed. They are everywhere, it's a mess, and I don't like when things aren't... Mm. Okay, here is my solution to keep things organized. You're gonna click on the contextual menu here at the top of the panel and select Manage Additional Folder. There you will be able to add the preset file. The file can be anywhere on your computer, so you can put it everywhere you want, in a place where you're sure it won't move. The advantage? Now you can select the local files and display only the ones you are really interested in here the creator pack. Isn't that better? Now it's clean and organized. Me like it. You download it and install the bonus preset? Cool. Now how does it work? And more importantly, what is it for? It's the simplest thing in the world and at the same time, it's super useful. It's just used to change the ratio of a video by adding black bars. Okay, it's something you can create yourself in your editing software. It's boring and it takes time, but why not? Or you can download PNG images for all the different formats and add them as you need them. Also, yes, but now it's going to be even simpler and you'll be able to go a little further. First, we select the resolution, here 1080. Then you just have to select the desired format. Cinema format in 235? Yeah, you got it. Square format? Beam. 4x3? No problem. Want to create your own ratio? No worries, mate. Just switch to custom and play with the desired height and width. As a little bonus, you can also change the color. Some people like to put white bars instead of black bars. No, you can. Personally, I used it in a more creative way. In my last vlog, for example, dedicated to food photography, I thought it was nice to create a frame that fits the color of the visual. It brings a very graphic aspect that I like. I think it's something I'm definitely going to use every time now. Stop it, don't thank us. You're awesome. No, you're awesome. <laughs> okay, we are. And because yes, you are awesome, now I'm gonna show you how you can create your own presets. The principle is very simple. You just need a few basics in After Effects. Once you've created an animation you like, just drag the parameters you want to be able to modify in Premiere into the Essential Graphics panel. For example, the scale. You can also modify your text, its font, etc. You can go quite far, even if not everything is usable. Then you just have to export it as a Mogurt, Mogurt, Mogurt file and re-import it into Premiere as we have before. Easy peasy. But I will show you how you can go a little further with a very short and simple expression. Basically, in addition to the menus, the interface, you can interact with After Effects in JavaScript. Ooh, I know it's scary, but don't run away. Stay with me, everything will be fine. You'll just have to copy and paste the expression I'm going to give you, and you'll see that the principle is very simple. Here I have a text with this nice background and these icons, a triangle, a circle, a square. I would like to be able to activate or not the visibility of my background. Of course, I could just add the opacity here and lower it to zero, but I want to be able to do it with just one click of a button. First, I'm going to add an expression control effect so that I can control the activation of the layer with a simple checkbox. We're going to have to set a condition for the software. If this box is checked, the opacity of my layer is 100%. If it is not, then it is at zero. We will call the layer opacity with the shortcut T and to add an expression, I will hold the Alt key and click on the little stopwatch. First, I'm going to type if, then I'm going to open a bracket to describe the condition. There, we should reference our checkbox and write the corresponding expression, but we don't know anything about it. So we are just going to select the corresponding property with this tiny pick whip tool here, like that, and bim! After Effects will take care of the rest. If this property is checked and therefore validated, its value is 1, otherwise it is 0. So we are going to add two equal signs. So Y2, I don't know, I guess one is not enough for him. Then the number 1, and we'll close the parenthesis. So in fact, we just told him, okay, if the value of this box is equal to 1, meaning if it's checked, that's all. And now we have to tell him what's going on, what's the result. Well, if the box is checked, the opacity is equal to 100. Otherwise, so else, it is equal to zero. For the nomenclature, we have to put the results between braces or curly brackets. I don't know the proper name, but this thing. Then we validate our expression with a semicolon at the end and done. Thank you. Have a good day. And look, it works. We can do the same thing with a drop down menu to determine which icon will be visible. Here, I create a drop down expression control and I will give it the three desired properties. And now, in the same way, with the same expression, I'm going to determine the opacity values of each layer according to the value selected in the drop-down menu. 
This is what I did to allow you to choose the different icons in the pack, for example. Yeah, it takes time, I know. That's why I'm sure that the template pack that we propose can be very useful if you make videos. Just the black bars alone save me a lot of time. But of course, I know that I have mostly photographers here, so obviously it's not for everyone. Here's Matty's video, here's a video that will show you the spirit of the channel, but you'll find a few others in the description. And if you like it, you know what you have to do, it's on this side. See you, mate, keep on creating. Oh,